The Fraser Valley real estate market is just about as hot as the weather. However, for the month of June, things are starting to cool off just a little bit. We're going from a boil to a simmer, and we're gonna look at it right after this. Sales on the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board's multiple listing service remained very robust in June. However, for the first time since last September, monthly sales did not break historical records. In June, the board processed 2,247 sales on its MLS, which is a decrease of 24% compared to May and a 31% increase compared to June of 2020. Sales continued to remain elevated compared to a typical June, 22% above the 10-year average. According to Larry Anderson, the president of the Fraser Valley Board, June saw a shift from an extreme seller's market to a strong seller's market. Although demand for Fraser Valley homes remains very high, we're now seeing more subject offers, and for the first time in months, we're starting to see price reductions. The month ended with a total active inventory sitting at 5,474, which is a 7% decrease to May of 2021 and a 22.5% fewer than June of 2020. A lack of supply continues to be the single largest factor affecting the market. Simply put, to meet current demand and get back to balance, we need about 3,500 more active listings in the region. Across the Fraser Valley in June, the average number of days to sell a single detached home was 17. A townhome was 12 days, where condos took an average of 21 days to sell. The benchmark price for a single family in the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board increased 0.1% compared to May of 2021, but an increase of 33.2% compared to June of 2020. Unbelievable. Townhomes are sitting at 680,000. The benchmark price for a Fraser Valley townhome increased 1.3% compared to May of 2021 and a huge 21% increase compared to June of 2020. Condos, the benchmark price in the Fraser Valley board is $493,000, which is an increase of only 1% compared to May of 2021, but an increase of 13.5% compared to June of 2020. So in the Fraser Valley, the sell-through ratio is way higher than it is in the greater Vancouver area. And the top three areas in the Fraser Valley at this point is Mission, which comes in at a 73% sell-through ratio, which means 73 out of 100 homes are selling, which is unbelievable. Next, you move into Langley, which is at 66%, and then into Abbotsford, which is 57%. Both of those numbers are incredible. So that was a short synopsis of what's happening in the Fraser Valley at this point in time for June of 2021. However, if you're looking in specific sub areas and other areas in that Fraser Valley, prices and sales and listings vary dramatically from area to area. If you're interested in any of those areas, click the link below and we'll send you a copy of the Fraser Valley Real Estate Stats. Hope you enjoy them. They're pretty informative. So I really appreciate you watching. Thanks very much. If you're interested in these types of videos and anything real estate related, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, click the like button. My video guys really like that. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.